cash flow is the holy grail of sales. To know about residual income and not work for it makes absolutely no sense. If you disagree with that, you don't have cash flow. Go ask anyone who has it, they will agree with that statement, okay? I know a lot of people um, really, really big into real estate. My brother-in-law just bought a huge mansion up in Washington. He's a Google guy. But every time I invite him to come on some spark, he does Ironman or used to do Ironman races. But when nowadays when I go to invite him, like, hey, let's go do the Spartan Ultra race or, hey, get your family down here to Florida. What is his response? I would love to, but I have to work. Okay. That is the tune and the beat of the drum that the world marches to the standard, the average, the school educated, the highly educated people might be able to get a mansion, but when it comes to, Hey, let's go play. I can't, I have to go to work. And that's why I subscribe to the Robert Kiyosaki philosophy of acquire assets. Okay. So one thing I love about Rich Dad Poor Dad and his teachings is that he keeps things really, really simple. It's so simple that I have my nine-year-old son in this room with me because he can understand how simple this is. He says, if you want to be free, if you want to be wealthy, acquire assets. What is an asset? Okay, not the financial advisor who's trying to sell you, you know, some product that he makes a commission off of definition, not the banker's definition. What is the simple definition that keeps this game very, very simple, easy to understand and motivating. An asset puts money in your pocket every single month. That's it. It's really that simple. So if you want to stop trading time for money, you must focus on acquiring assets, period. If anyone remembers a rich dad, poor dad, he, he was taught that lesson at Rich Dad's desk, and he kept it that simple his whole life. And that always resonated with me, and, it, and I want that lesson to, to resonate with you today. So I hope I can do a good job delivering that lesson to you as well. And it's really simple. Focus on acquiring assets if you want to stop trading time for money. So a lot of new people have come on. I'm just going to do a quick introduction. My name's Joe Wagner. I've been in this industry for years, over a decade. I've got all these boxes popping up here. I've retired at 36 years old. I announced a couple of months ago that I retired. Okay, some of you I'm still in touch with. It's a very small select group. I love the industry. I always have my foot in the door in the industry. If you think I won't, you don't really know me, but I've retired from running the webinars and recruiting and trying to convince people that they should do this. But after a lot of emails, while well, I've been out on vacation the last couple months, Right now, I'm in between trips. I leave to Hawaii in a couple of days, and I wanted to put this together to revigorate some of you that need to hear it, okay? I, I'm an author. I'm a mentor. I wrote the book, If I Lost It All Today, What I Would Do to Rebuild a Six-Figure Residual Income in 180 Days. I am married. I have a beautiful family. I have two sons, one daughter. We travel the world. We hang out together. I've built multiple portfolios in this industry. Today, I am going to show you one of my portfolios. I want to show you what you're doing out there. And when you see videos on, on me out saying, own your life, just get the next deal and get the next deal. I'm going to show you today an actual portfolio of why that's the message that I beat to over and over and over again, because that is the game that we're playing. Okay. Get the next deal. You're going to see the results when you have that mentality. I'm a Spartan ultra race finisher is 31.7 miles. I do Spartan races training for a couple more right now. My goal in life is to travel the world with my family. I am obsessed with helping others own your life. So if you are tired of trading time for money, if you're tired of seeing other people have these amazing lifestyles and cool stories, and you're hearing about residual income, I want to help you get that as well, but I can only meet people halfway. So that's a little bit about me. And what I, the reason I talk about assets is because it creates a lifestyle. Assets and cash flow aren't about the money. It's about the lifestyle and no job out there, no J-O-B, you just over broke, is going to help you build a lifestyle like merchant sells, like anything that acquires assets and creates 
cash flow. So let's talk about some assets that are pretty well known that people think of when you think of assets, right? So you've got real estate, there's rental properties. You can invest a lot of money into stocks that pay dividends and, and get interest and bonds and things like that. You can build a hands-off business. Okay, if you own a business, anyone who's really worked in this business is out talking to business owners and we've all met plenty of people who are actually slaves to their own business, okay? That's not an asset. An asset is, an asset is something that's hands-off that puts money in my pocket month after month. Don't have to do anything, right? So if you can build a hands-off business, definitely a great asset. Multi-level marketing business. This is, I get a lot of people that come from multi-level marketing. I'm going to touch briefly on that. Or you can do royalties. You can write some best-selling book or create some song or something like that. I want to talk about some of these assets and in comparison, okay, so I'm not bashing any of these assets by any means, but when I run this lesson, I'm talking to just the average Joe out there that was like me, that didn't come from money, that didn't have a stockpile of capital, but has incredible work ethic and can get out there and control their outcome. I'm going to compare what we do to just the common asset out there. So real estate. Not only is there a lot of money involved in capital to acquire that amount of real estate, it requires a lot of time, okay? You can hire property management companies. Dustin Gluker used to own one, almost ran him into the dirt, the stress of running that company. It's a whole nother story. But when you have real estate, it won't just take care of itself. Either you're going to have a lot of management or you're going to pay a lot for somebody to manage it. You've got dividends and interest, right? So... If you're going to go out there and build enough cash flow through dividends and interest, it is going to require a boatload of capital, right? We're going to compare it to a book that I'm going to show you here today. Um, a building a hands-off business. This is a great one. Robert Kiyosaki highly promotes building a hands-off business. One thing about this, which we all just experienced with COVID, you want to talk about outside forces? Who saw that outside force coming? Did that affect people that had like a retail business or some sort of business going? Absolutely. It takes a lot of capital and the management behind running a business obviously requires a ton of time. There's a whole lot going on to building a hands-off business. Then you've got multi-level marketing. This is one of the biggest ones. I get the most responses from people out there um, coming into this business from multi-level marketing. Why? because they are tired of relying on others. They're tired of relying on some down loan, uh, downline. This person might be really good at going out there and signing people up. The problem is, is no one they sign up signs anyone else up. And they're building this business that relies on others, which is why I absolutely love direct sales. And then royalties, um, you're really competing with, you know, to get a best-selling book, like the New York Times bestseller books, uh, can't even imagine the amount of money and the kind of people that you're going up against. Not impossible, but again, I'm talking to just the average person here that, that wants to make residual income, that wants to acquire assets, and you may not have the management skill, you may not have the capital, um, you may not want to deal with the outside forces, you definitely don't want to rely on others, and you don't want to you know, jump into it, we call it a red sea, right? The, the, the uh, water's bloody and there's already sharks all over the place. If you don't want to deal with all that stuff, that's why I love payment processing because you earn it. You literally can go out there and earn assets and get an infinite return on your investment, which I'm going to talk about. So what does it cost you to build this asset? It costs you time and effort. You might have some gas money, you might be traveling, you might be getting some hotels and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, if all you have is a bus pass and doors in your area, you can build assets every single day in this business. It's one of the things that separates it. It's absolutely incredible. You determine how quickly you stack your asset call. And it's done through your time and it's done through your efforts. So a lot of people... A lot of people on this call want that outcome, but you're halfway in. Or maybe you signed up a couple months ago and you're not even trying anymore. You still want it. You're still opening the emails, but you're not really giving it the time and the effort. Well, you're not paying the cost. 
Okay, building this business is not like going to a restaurant where you get to enjoy the meal. You sit down, you order your steak, they bring it out, it's well cooked, it's exactly what you want, and you pay the bill later, okay? That is not how this business works. In this business, you pay the bill first, and that is time and effort and consistency. That's how you build the business. Infinite return. You get paid to earn cash flow. Okay, so let's say um, I do mobile home investing. I've got a bunch of cash flow from mobile homes as, as well. A lot of you might not know that. So to go, my goal, anything I invest in is infinite return. I don't consider it a good investment until I can reach an infinite return and I want it as quickly as possible. So I'll give you an example. If I can go buy a mobile home for $20,000 and I'm going to go owner finance it or rent to own it, you could do rental. Again, I don't want the management, so I do other strategies, pull another webinar. But my goal, I want my $20,000 back as quickly as possible. So if I go get a mobile home for $20,000 and I can positive cash flow on it, $500 a month, then that means it would take 40 months to get my money back. Once 40 months passed with this equation and I have my money back, and now I'm collecting that $500 in positive profit, now I have an infinite return. It means all the money that I invested, all the capital I put in up front, I now have back and it's still pumping money. Okay, if you calculate $500 a month divided by $0 down, there's no, it, it doesn't exist. It's infinite. There is no number. That's what an infinite return is. So when you're talking about signing merchant accounts, you go out there, you sign up a $90 deal, you get paid $700, and that account, I'm going to show you a file today, could pay you up a couple thousand dollars. It might pay you $16, but it doesn't matter. It is an infinite return. And it required no capital. It required, it required hard work. That's what infinite return is. By the way, I would never do that mobile home deal. If I put 20 grand in, I'd get a 20 grand down payment and collect 500 bucks. I want my money back now. I want infinite returns. And with this business, you go out, you sign a merchant account, it's automatically right out of the gate, infinite return. Not only is it an infinite return, you're getting paid to acquire that asset rather than having to go buy one, okay? Unbelievable. And you do this all relying solely on your own efforts. So like I said, I'm going to show a portfolio. I have five portfolios in this business. I'm about to share one of them with you. I want you to see what this really is. When we talk about get the next deal, get the next deal, it's worth it. It's worth it. Financial freedom, own your life, all of that stuff. At the end of the day, the thing, the day that I'm the most excited about is when I see a residual file, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. But before I do that, because we live in a world of unicorns and people living in fantasy land thinking equal results, not equal opportunity, I'm going to share this disclaimer. All results stated are not typical and do not imply you'll duplicate them or do anything for that matter. Any of my strategies and case studies are only examples of what others have done and accomplished. There's no assurance you'll do as well as or even close to the figures I achieve or other clients have done. Results are based on many factors, including skill, effort, and years of hard work. We have no way of knowing how well you will do. As we do not know you, your background, your business model, or your work ethic, etc. Therefore, we do not guarantee or imply that you will get better results or earn more money than you will then you will do as well, especially if the techniques are never implemented. So for those of you that aren't even working, that's you, if the techniques are never implemented. If you rely upon our figures, you must accept the risk of not doing as well as we are a large established business de developer with many years of research and experience. All right, there's my disclaimer, okay? I'm not guaranteeing you anything. You guarantee yourself the results, but let me get out of this and move over to a file. Okay, so a lot has been removed out of this. I'm not going to share merchant names and stuff like that, but I want you to see what you're doing. This is your goal. 
This is your business. Every yes that you get, this grows. Okay, so some of you right now have zero. You have absolutely nothing. This is what your residual file looks like, some of you. So if you're brand new, that's okay. Guess what? That's what mine looked like at one point. My first residual check was 70 cents. And I couldn't have been more excited because I was on my way. That was an asset. I had an asset that was pumping 70 cents. And I was okay with that because I knew it would grow. It's just a math equation. So let me go back. Let me undo that. Some of you only have a couple of accounts. I did a one-on-one -on -one last week with a student. He only had one account. He was paying like $47 and he was bumped. He's like, it's only $47. I'm like, dude, it's just one. Watch what happens when you keep getting more. Okay. So these are actual accounts. This is a real residual file. And here's the payout. Okay, folks, this is residual income. You can lose money on an account if they don't process or they don't process enough. That's a whole nother webinar. But I want you to see this is only $28. Oh man, this account's only $9. Well, there you go, 252, 167, 214. Folks, we sign them all. Here's an account right here, $2,600. This is one account. So if you're out there and you're having a slow start, it's okay, get results, just get the next one. Each one of these is an asset. Each one of these is an asset. You, you get someone to say yes, and you save them a bunch of money. They go into your residual file, and it is now an asset that is going to pump money every single month, and you got paid to acquire it. And this residual file always opens people's eyes because they really see what I mean, like just get the next deal. Okay, so just this alone, $2,600. If you had to go work six months to land one good account like that, maybe in those six months, these were all the accounts you signed. Let's say it took six months to sign this first little list. Would you work night and day, six months, if your residual income was $9,500? Okay, that's 22 accounts. Answer that to yourself right now. Would you do whatever it takes? and go to work and get rejected and maybe not go at the pace that you want to go if you could just get a deal here and a deal there and a deal here and a deal there. What if it took you six months to sign 22 accounts? That's less than four a month. That's one a week. Can you go sign one deal a week if in six months your residual income was going to be $9,500? This is what we're doing here. This is what I'm talking about when I say just get the next one. It's worth it, okay? The goal is for this file to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Those didn't come, it's another juicy one, $2,000. Those didn't come from wanting to build this business. They came from building this business and going to work. My son is nine years old. He's sitting right here with me. He's looking and watching, learning this lesson about assets right now. When he was born the first years of his life, I was gone. I was out signing these accounts. I was literally out signing these accounts on road trips, staying in hotels, because I knew when he was old enough, the result would be worth it, okay? So this is one of my personal books. This is one of five merchant accounts, okay? $61,000. $61,000. I knew when he got older, and I have three kids now, but when he was born, I went hard, and I went out. This isn't even a lot of accounts, folks. This is, but I knew that when he got older, it wouldn't matter. Those nights away from the family, the, the little things that I, that I miss. I did miss stuff, but you think I miss anything now? We no longer trade time for money because we built a large asset. And that large asset is this business, which is just accumulated of all these individual assets.
that's it, folks. I want to show how serious this business is and what you can actually do with it. So if you've kind of stepped back, if you've kind of stepped back from the business, if you've kind of lost hope or you didn't start as fast as you wanted or you fell for the carrot, right? We all know that cartoon of the guy carrying the carrot. The old cartoon, you got the donkey, you got the man on the, on the wagon, and he's holding the carrot in front of the donkey and the donkey cheek is walking after the carrot, right? Okay, that's a paycheck. It's an illusion. There's no freedom to it. You will work your whole life. My brother-in-law just bought a mansion up in the Northwest, works for Google, and he can't come visit Florida or go on a Spartan race whenever he wants. But he lives in a mansion. Okay, that's an illusion. If you want freedom. If the only thing you care about is a bunch of money, then, you know, you can get a really high paying job like him, right? I'm not bashing him. I'm just promoting what assets do when you focus on assets. And in this business, which I'm going to go over a little bit more here, each deal is an asset. So again, if you're into Robert Kiyosaki, you guys should be able to see here. So I got my chart. This is straight out of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's not my chart. Again, I didn't create any of this stuff, but I want to show another visual of how this works. Okay, Joey, why don't you go over on that side? There you go. There you, go. you can go right there. That looks uncomfortable. So this is what Robert Kiyosaki calls the rat race, okay? And you've got your income, you've got your expenses, you've got assets, you've got liabilities. We all have some sort of liabilities. We all definitely have expenses and you know, most people in America <laughs> want to have an income that they actually earn. Uh, that's changing these days. So here's what the rat race looks like. You got your job just over broke. This is, I trade my time for money. You're going to guarantee me $2,000 on Friday. Oh, okay, I'll do it. I'll do whatever you tell me. Okay, so they trade their time for money. And that is where their income comes from. It could be a salary, it could be hourly wage. There might be a lot of salespeople out there that don't make residual income on the product they sell. Now you've probably seen some of my videos. That makes no freaking sense to go out there and be in sales. Sales is hard. To sell a product and only make commission and not make residual income makes no freaking sense. That's stupid. Why would you do that? Anyways, people do it. They come out, all their income comes from salary, trading time for money, hourly wage, or commission only. And then from there, they pay their life's expenses and the money flows straight out. Okay, that's the rat race. You'll be stuck in that forever. If all you do is work a job or you don't build assets, even if it's not merchant services, okay, get assets. Because if you don't, this is your, it's gonna be the story of your life. Let's talk about what it looks like to own your life. We own your life, we focus on our asset column. Again, there's a lot of assets that you can buy out there, but for the average person, this vehicle is very realistic. Because every time you sign a merchant account, this is ABC liquor store, okay? Small liquor store, maybe this asset pumps $25 a month. But guess what? You go to work tomorrow and you acquire another asset. Maybe you had a good day, you get two assets. This is XYZ furniture and this one's who cares business, okay? So you start acquiring these assets. Next thing you know, you've got a portfolio like I showed you, or a fraction of the size of that portfolio. Now, instead of only making commissions, which you're still making, now your money flows from the asset column where you no longer trade your time for the money that goes into your income. 
That's owning your life. That is the difference between the rat race and owning your life. And I think I'm making my point pretty clear here that you can go out there and you can acquire assets every single day. And my question to you is if you're not, why not? Why wouldn't you take control of your future and go out there and put assets in your asset call? I don't care if it's one a week. I don't care if it's even one a month is better than nothing. Time's going to go by, but you should be able to go out there and get a couple of these a week. If you're truly working, if you're truly utilizing coaching, if you're truly utilizing the support system that you have in place, if you're, if you're using the things that we already built for you to build this on, you should be able to go get some accounts. And when you do that, you're going to have an asset call up that, that now this pays your liabilities and your lifestyle and all of that stuff. And as you can imagine, the more merchant accounts you get, your liability column might go up. I've got a phrase that says a deal a day keeps the bills away. Two deals a day gets you more bills to pay. Because in your, if you can get to two deals a day, it's like crazy, crazy, crazy elite. But I've used that phrase for years. If you can go get two deals a day consistently, you're probably going to drive a nicer car. You're probably going to have some bigger things down in your liability column. But it's okay because they get paid by the income from the assets. So there's a little reminder for you on why we do this business. Okay, the last one I wanna talk about is the book. If I lost it all today, what I would do from day one to day 180 to rebuild a six figure residual income. How would I do that? What do you think, Joey? Would I go get a job or would I focus on building assets? Correct. You know what this is, bud? It's a credit card machine. You know when we go to the store? We go to a store, you got my wallet right here, lucky. So now we go to a store, we wanna buy something, we pull out our card and we do that, right? What does that do? It makes money for us, but when we're at the store doing that, we're paying for something, right? Right, so almost all businesses now accept credit cards. So folks, this is an asset for you. This, this thing right here, Joey, you believe that? This is literally an asset. So Joey, when we put this in somebody's business, right now there's people watching, all those years I was away when I go on road trips, I'm going, I'm talking to businesses, and I'm trying to get them to put one of my credit card machines in their business. They save money when I do that. What do you think happens for us when I put one of these in someone's business and their customers start paying them? We make money. So is that an asset or a liability? An asset, okay? It's that simple, folks. This is an asset. Go get these in people's businesses. Obviously, we have point of sales. I don't think this is the only thing that we have. The point is, if you can get people to run cards through your machine, they're going to win. Do you know what happens when they sign up with us? We save them a bunch of money. Okay. If I can put this into someone's business, they, that owner who owns the business, they're going to save a bunch of money. And I get paid over and over and over again to do that. Does that sound pretty good deal? Yeah. You should see the smile on his face. Folks, that's what we're doing. So the title of the book, what would I do from day one to day 180? I'd get out and I wouldn't do anything but go sign merchant accounts. I would stack my asset column again and I would do it at the quickest rate possible. Why? Because the window of opportunity for the cash discount program is right now. There are so many people in the industry that when, when I first started cash discounting like five years ago, like that's a fad bad mistake. You shouldn't go all in on that. That's going to go away. People aren't going to like that. It's going to scare customers away. Okay. That was five years ago. Now everybody's doing the cash discount program. And we still have just barely broke the ice of the amount of businesses that have switched over to it. But thanks to this horrible COVID that, that hit our, rocked our world, business owners right now are more open than ever to thinking outside the box, to regaining profits over the last year they've been hemorrhaging money and they're more willing the same people that said i won't do cash discounting and they they were scared of it are now open to doing it because they might not make it another year anyways 
And then they jump on and they realize, you know what? I'm not scaring any customers away. I'm not losing any money. There's no better time than right now to get out there and go to work, folks. I hope that meeting resonates because it's one thing to constantly hear someone say, own your life and financial freedom and go sign the next merchant account. It's another thing to actually like visualize this, okay? This should be you. And I can't make it you. Your wife can't make it you. Your kids can't make it you. Only you can make this file yours. Our favorite day in this house is the biggest portfolio we've built, not this one. The biggest one, when we sit, me and my wife look at it every single month. And it just keeps coming. So folks, I hope that that motivates you that this is real. You don't have to have millions of dollars in capital to put into stocks to equal the same. What would it take? Let's figure this out, okay? So you got a $61,000 portfolio. You got all these little accounts, man. You guys have no idea the road trips and the rejection. And you do have an idea. If you're out there working, you do have an idea. Whatever you're dealing with out there, been there, done that. It's the same, okay? And no matter how good you are, you have to go through that. This is the outcome. It's worth it, okay? But let's just real quick. I don't want to keep you guys on forever here. I got stuff to do. $61,000 portfolio. If I had... I'm just gonna rough numbers here. If I had $3 million and I could get a 3%, okay, let's try $2 million. I'd have to have $2 million in stocks at a 3% dividend return for 60,000. You know what though? That would be annually, okay? Dividends are like 3% on average, or like three and a half percent. But most of those you get annually, okay? So at $2 million in a stock with a 3% dividend would equal 60 grand. But that's yearly. Are you kidding me? You have to multiply that by 12. You need like $24 million at a 3% dividend to equal this same residual on a monthly basis, okay? Let's move to real estate. In real estate, there's a rule. It's, it's the 1% the rule. Okay, so when it comes to like a rental property or the cash flow that you make on a property, 1% of the purchase price in a monthly ROA, ROI is good. Like that's, that, that's like standard. So I'd have to have a 6 million or 60 million. So if I had a 6 million point zero one. So you'd have to have about roughly a $6 million real estate portfolio, not including the management and tenants and fixing toilets and all that. I mean, you're at that, you're going to pay a management company to do that. I, I would imagine, but still 1% would be $60,000. So this book of business is the equivalent of a $6 million real estate portfolio. And it goes on and on. I hope you, I hope you guys get the point. I don't, I, I don't have $6 million to just throw into real estate. I don't think the average person, when I started this business, I didn't have that kind of money to just go drop into something for that kind of cash flow. So what's the alternative? It's this. Let's go to work. This machine. Make, set you free. Literally. So as many of you know, I'm no longer just running webinars like on a daily basis. I hope I was showing that residual file, right? Yeah. I'm no longer running my webinars on a daily basis. We've got all the support and everything like that in place for you. Let me change my screen. Share screen. Averages. I'm just kind of, I'm just going to kind of blow through this one. It's all about your averages out there, folks. So even if you start slow and you finish strong later, it's going to average out. Okay. I'll tell you, Dustin, sorry, I'm going to use you as an example, but Dustin signs a boatload of deals within a couple of weeks. 
And one thing I love about Dustin is he has like a hundred percent activation ratio because he goes and does his installs. But when he goes and does his installs, that's, that takes a lot of time out of the field. When you have 12 terminals to go and install, that takes time away from going and signing fresh deals. But he has like a hundred percent activation ratio. So what I'm getting at is the averages. So like this month, I don't think Dustin got his first deal until he was even last week. So it might've been like the, the 12th of the month. He had no deals at the 12th of the month because he was installing all these terminals from a wave of deals. And now he's out there again. I think he signed seven last week. It's Monday. He pro I, know, I know you're on. There he is right there. He's out in the field. Okay. He'll probably go sign five to 10 this week. So just because he didn't sign any in the first 12 days, that doesn't matter. It's all about the averages. So at the end of the month, when he averages 15 to 20, it doesn't matter how quickly they come in. Don't get discouraged by low numbers temporarily because you can make up for it later. And at the end of the week, what did you average? At the end of the month, what did you average? If you do this for years, at the end of the years, how much did you average? When I was a rep in the field, I'd sign three to 400 apps a year. Three to 400. Okay, so just keep that in mind. It's really about averages more than anything. And these are just some numbers here. I'm not even going to get too into that. I want to just keep moving here. If you want to increase your odds, plug in. We have it all. We have it all there for you. You don't need to do this yourself. The biggest one that I wanted to talk about was right here, contact support. We said this when you were brand new. Well, I'll say it again right now. We know who's serious about this business because they're reaching out. When you're brand new and you don't even call and ask about like a terminal or like one of, my, one of the good questions, I just got it this morning from Jack. Jack, I don't know if you're on here. I'm not looking at the list, but it's like, you know, I know some businesses and they have that square thing. Is that, do we have something similar to that? Great question. That's someone who's brand new that actually gives a crap about this business that is thinking about it and thinking about businesses that he can go to, but he doesn't want to until he knows some basic stuff. So if you're brand new and you don't ever contact support, you got a like 0% chance unless you already have industry experience coming into this. Contact support. We are your partners and your success is the company's success. If you don't make any money, neither do we. We want to be on the phone call, uh, having conversations with you because that's how we know that you're out there trying to build a business and that's how we win. You're not alone doing this. So make sure you utilize all that. The people that I deal with, the people that I am talking with, you can ask anyone on here who's one of my students who put skin in the game and was willing to invest in their self that now has the premium access. You guys can call me anytime. They have my cell phone. I might be 150 burpees in. I might be on the top of some mountain hiking with my family. I might be doing something, but ask any one of my students. They can reach me. So I would love to work with people that are serious about this business. And I know that that's people that put skin in the game. Okay. You can be with us and do very, very well without it. But if you really want to fast track your business, you want to save yourself and learn years of, of experience it's on the coaching site. And those are the people that I want to work with directly. I do have the time for, I retired from working with people that are not serious. And I'm pretty much retired. We run around and we're doing whatever the heck we want all summer long. It's awesome. It's because that residual file and a couple more. So if you are interested in coaching, you want to build that residual file faster. That's the site right there. Coaching.easydirectsales.com. I would love to work with you if you're serious. If, if you're not in the coaching, that's okay too. I still wish you success. We still have a whole support team there for you. I'm just not taking my personal time. We have a whole team that's still there to support you. So don't think you have to buy something to go be successful. The people that are coach in the coaching, they definitely save a couple of years of time learning, you know, how to do it. Winner circle. I want to talk about this December. We're going to be getting together. At least a couple of us, I know, will be at all three of these. But I want to talk about the President's Club that's going to be down here in South Florida in December. But before that, here's an event that I will be going to. I highly encourage anybody at any time in your life to go to Tony Robbins if you get an opportunity to, okay? So West Palm Beach, 
November 11th through the 14th, right up the street from us, Tony Robbins. That's something I want to invite. I'm always encouraging people to be healthy, be mentally healthy, surround yourself by winners, be physical, be healthy in general. Everybody should go to a Tony Robbins. So I'll be definitely attending that. There's a Spartan Beast race. It's going to be right before the President's Club. So if you're making it to the President's Club and you want to come down and hang out a couple days before and you want to find a good reason from today moving forward to start kicking your butt and getting your physical health in gear, so you know, let's go on a Spartan run. So everyone's invited to that if you want to. December 11th down here in Florida as well. And then the President's Club for people that signed 50 deals or process half a million dollars, okay? If you grow your business by half a million dollars, maybe you're the kind of rep that doesn't sign a, a huge amount of deals, but you sign good accounts that are really profitable. Um, that's something new. We used to always do 50 deals a year, but again, that's unfair. If some, someone else could sign eight deals a year and actually be more profitable if they're bigger accounts. So half a million dollars in processing growth or 50 accounts in the year. And we'll be hanging out down here in South Florida. It'll be for three days. So December 14th through the 17th. My goal is to be hanging out with as many of you as possible. We'll go deep sea fishing. We'll go hang out on the boat. We'll go out. We'll do South Beach. You'll be put up in a hotel. And we're going to have an awesome freaking time to reward you at the end of the year for all of your hard work. So folks, I'm going to cut this off here. Remember, the name of the game is building a lifestyle. There's no job out there that's going to do that. Focusing on an asset column is what creates an amazing lifestyle. And I hope that after today, you fully, fully understand that you can literally go acquire an asset every single day. And the cost for it is not capital. It's hard work. I'm off to go get a COVID test so I can get on an airplane and head to Hawaii here in a couple of days. See you at the top, guys. Good to see you.